let's start. So we will say BCF tools. Let's just display the files again here. We need the sorted BAM file. So we will say BCF tools. We say m pile up dash o that is b we need the output to be in the bcf format and then we also indicate dash o for the output file so let's say raw dot bcf and then we also need to indicate the ref okay that's the reference genome so dash uh, dash f and then we indicate ref dash uh ref slash agy we need the four parts so that is what we are going to use here so we need that information so we need the dash f for that and then we also need threads so you see threads uh, you can decide to leave it but you can also add it and then just speed up your work so let's use eight and then here you can also do some filtering so dash q can be used to exclude bases okay that have uh, qualities lower than a particular threshold so let's say we want to remove or exclude bases with qualities uh, um, lower or below 20 we can say dash q that's the lowercase q and then indicate the 20 here so that will remove or ex exclude bases with qualities lower than 20. now if you want to exclude reads um, that have a particular um, mapping quality you can use the dash q here so let's say we have dash q 30 then this means that bcf2 should exclude reads um, whose mapping quality uh, is below or below 30 that is what this means so once we have this we also need to specify the input file what is the sorted bam file so that will be outputs dot sorted dot bam so that is what we need here so once we have this we can run and get a pile up information okay so pile up has been done for us so we have just one sample that is why we have this here okay so um, if you have multiple samples you can just check the documentation and look at how that can also be done okay so now we have the pile up done for us so do an ls and you see the file there which is the raw.bcf so this is what we will use to call the variants so we still use bcf tools to call the variants and so we will see bcf tools and then we say call and then we indicate the ploy the option so the ploy the option is used to um, tell bcf to whether we are dealing with um, haploid organisms or diploid so it's important we specify that so because we are dealing with a bacterial genome we are going to use um, a ploid of one because this haploid so we have one here and then we also indicate dash m so dash m here allows for the discovery of multi-allelic and then rare variants so that's why we have this here we also have dash vin to output just the variant sites that is what we need and then we also have dash o for the output file so let's just say variants dot raw dot vcf okay so you output it in the vcf format and then we indicate the input file which is the raw dot bcf so we have that also here and so that's what we need again if you want to get more information about the bcf tools call comma you can just go to that page i'll leave the link to this page in the description box so just go to the bcf tools page and just read about that so now we have everything we need so you can just run this command to call the variants okay so variant calling is being done now it has been done for us quickly so do an ls and then you see the file here which is this one here variants.raw.vcf 